welcome back to the Audie Murphy American Cop Museum. Today I'm going to show you a little bit and tell you a little bit about two of the people from this county. Uh, this, if you can tell this suit, I'm standing next to it, gives you an idea of just how tall he was. These were four brothers, the Shields, called the Shields Giants, and all four of the brothers were over seven feet tall. This was Frank's suit right here. And they went around in the late 1800s traveling with the Barnum and Bailey Circus and uh, being billed as the tallest men in the world. Um, and they did that until they retired from, from, the, from the circus. And then uh, it's, it's just amazing being able to see just how tall they really were. It's, they couldn't, this was not a mass produced suit, it was handmade. So it gives you an idea. In fact, Frank, um, they said he was right around seven feet, 11 inches tall. You know, when you when you put all that together. Another person here is called Monty Stratton and he was a baseball player, played for the Chicago White Sox and unfortunately he was back home hunting one day and accidentally tripped and fell and shot himself in the leg. Yes this is one of his fake legs. This is actually the second one because the first one he went the first one did not actually bend at the knee, which caused him a lot of problems when he went back to uh, playing baseball. He was a pitcher, and when he went back and pitched, well, everybody could bunt off of him. So he never made it back to the majors, but he still played ball for a long time. And for those of you who might recognize uh, the name Jimmy Stewart, I bet a lot of you out there will, he played uh, Monty Stratton in the movie, The Stratton Story. So him and June Allison. Uh, played his wife and this picture up here is one of my favorite photos because it shows we did the world premiere of the movie the Stratton story here in downtown Greenville and just seeing that many people there for that opening premiere is amazing and um, they say that um, he was an excellent pitcher and if he hadn't have had his accident they, they think he would have would have played for a really long time and done really well. As a little bit other, another interesting tidbit about it, the movie they made for, um, of his life, they made while he was still fairly young, which was the first time that it happened. Uh, they, they, at that, that time, they were used to making documentaries of people who had already passed away or later in life. So this was one of the very first times where they actually did it while he was still young. And in the very opening credits, in the very opening scene, the two little boys sitting on the bleachers are his children. So a little interesting fact there. Well, that's all for today, and we'll see you next time.